guys welcome to do this cake job with Prachi so today I'm going to show you a special way of making a buttercream and let me tell you what's so special about this so this weekend I'm gonna have some friends over and we're gonna have this party but this is not just a regular party it's gonna be a glitter fest cocktail party and all my friends love to just have some drinks and have a great time and who doesn't really so what can be a better dessert than making a banana cream rum chata cupcakes and I would love to decorate them with the rum chata buttercream. See, buttercream's really good, but when you add rum chata to it, you're taking this buttercream to the whole nother level. So let's get started and make this rum chata buttercream. Here I have like a cup of uh, vegetable oil shortening. So that goes in the mixer. That's all right. So here goes my one cup of short meat. And to that, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of, I have a clear imitation vanilla. This doesn't give any tint to your buttercream. That way it stays nice and white. I love the pure white. So then you can add any color to it and it doesn't mess it up for you. So there goes about a teaspoon of vanilla and and here comes my favorite part so we're gonna add about one fourth cup a cup of rum chata Just like that go straight in there and then we're gonna let this thing cream and get mixed together. All right, so it looks like it's nice and creamy. And now we're gonna add our dry ingredients, which is like, I got a pound of confectioner sugar. That's right, a whole pound, because Prachi don't mess around. <laughs> and then about like a tablespoon of meringue powder. Now, meringue powder is something that makes a perfect consistency of your buttercream and then it's so ready to, to decorate like that perfect consistency that you want. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of um, meringue powder. And you can get this in any um, local grocery stores where they do the cake decorating sections. Oh, and also not to mention, we're gonna also add like a pinch of salt or you can add like, just kind of like more than a pinch. Salt and sugar, you can never go wrong. Trust me on that. So usually you could use just a salted butter um, for this and it works just perfectly fine. I like using shortening just because of the pure white color and it just, I don't like that yellow tinge to my buttercream and that's why I use the shortening. But you can totally use salted butter and that's completely fine. So I've had, since I'm not using butter, I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. That just gives that taste that you're gonna like. And here goes the sugar. So. I'm just gonna scrape the bowl from the sides and make sure that we don't have it, you know, sticky. Now, since we're adding rum chata, you can always add more if you need it like a little bit more like thinner or you can always add water or milk too. But rum chata just sounds extremely good. So we're just gonna do that instead. My buttercream's kinda like getting really thick, so I might add a, just a little bit more rum chata to it right now. We're just gonna kinda wing it, okay? Because it's better that way. like our rum chata buttercream has turned into perfect consistency I'm just gonna try to take a little peek mmm it's finger licking good all right guys now it looks like our rum chata buttercream is ready and guess what these little bad boys are so ready to take on that rum chata buttercream so let's start decorating I have two tips that I really like 
This is tip number 1M. It does multiple things. I love it. It's great. And this is tip number 4B. Um, so I'll show you a couple ways to decorate these cupcakes and then we'll make them look so hot. All right. So let's get started. You start with the firm pressure from outside. Go in. Whoa, look at that. All right. Let's do a few of those and then I'll show you how to do a few with 4B. Again, go out to in and top. Okay, from out, this is it. All right, and then let me show you what the tip number 4B does. It's just another, you do it the same way, but it gives you those fine lines. All right, and that's tip number 4B. Since we use drum chata, it's kind of very thick consistency. So you're gonna really need to like use those muscles to squeeze this out and get it on those cupcakes. All right, so now you think that's done? Oh heck no, oh no. We still got some for our glitter fest. We gotta glitter this baby up. So I have this edible glitter spray. Wilton does that. So we're gonna just try and spray these with some glitter. Ooh, look at that. Nice. It looks very glamorous. And top on that, I got some sprinkles. Love sprinkles. I mean, that just makes your life so much nicer. So I'm just gonna glitter this baby up it's a glitter sprinkle right that's what it's looking like I don't know if you guys can see this right but this is what it looks like and what do you think is that good enough for our party oh no because guess what's coming we got to infuse these babies with some more rum chata. So when your guests are going to take a bite of that cupcake, they're going to squeeze more rum chata into that cupcake and it's going to be so juicy and moist and fabulous. And they've got to have some good time, you know. So I got these little infusers. Look at these little babies. So cute. Okay, so we're going to... With some rum chata. And that goes straight into that cupcake. Oh yeah! Now you can say that this cupcake is done and ready to go on your cake stand or your cupcake stand or whatever. You know, that's ready for my cocktail party anyways. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and love it. All right, so keep checking out my videos if you like to have, if you like to do some cake jobs with Crouchy. All right, bye, have a great time.